This video instruction is for new style inlet valves found on the S15, C15, and C16 series BOGA compressors. Prior to beginning work, make sure the sump pressure is at zero PSI before shutting off power to the compressor and locking out the machine. Instructions on how to check sump pressure can be found below in the description of this video. Start by removing the solenoid cord cap from the solenoid valve. The screw holding the cord cap on is located on the back of the cord cap. If the cap is stuck on the valve, gently rock the cap back and forth to work it free. Next, loosen and remove the four bolts located on top of the solenoid valve. Once the bolts are loose, remove them from the solenoid valve. The solenoid valve can now be removed from the compressor. Be careful as you lift the valve. The solenoid anchor is loose inside and may slide free of the valve body. Carefully lift the brass body found underneath the solenoid valve, taking care not to damage the tubing or the push connect fitting that it is attached to. The solenoid poppet and spring are contained under this body. Remove both the spring and the poppet from the brass housing. Before installing the new spring and poppet, Lubricate the o-ring on the poppet with grease such as white lithium or Valvoline crimson. Do not use excessive amounts of grease as this may impede the operation of the solenoid poppet valve. Remove any excess grease from the top and the bottom of the solenoid poppet. Seat the poppet valve into the brass housing and carefully place the spring back on top of the poppet. Next, the brass body slides over top of the spring and poppet. Be careful not to pinch or displace the spring on top of the poppet. Slide the solenoid anchor back into the solenoid valve body and place the valve back on top of the brass assembly. Hold light pressure on the valve to keep the parts from shifting. Tighten the four bolts that hold the valve together. A moderate amount of tension will do. Too much may strip the threads from the brass housing. Finally, reinstall the cord cap onto the solenoid valve and tighten the single retaining bolt. Use light tension on this bolt as it is easy to strip the threads from the solenoid valve body.